Welcome back. Up until this point, we have used the following postulates to prove triangles congruent. We've used side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle. And in class, I also showed you the reason why side, side, angle is not one of the reasons to prove triangles congruent. Well, today I'm going to introduce a fourth way to prove triangles congruent. And this one's unique in that it only works for right triangles. So in order to prove triangles congruent using this postulate called the HL postulate, it must, you must have a right triangle. So let's say we have these two right triangles, triangle ABC and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. The H postulate says if there exists a correspondence between the vertices of two right triangles, and that's important, such the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other triangle, then the two right triangles are congruent. So in order to have hypotenuse leg, You've got to have the hypotenuse is congruent and then one of the corresponding legs has to be congruent to the other corresponding leg. So in this particular triangle, we have our right angles are congruent and then our hypotenuses are congruent, the side opposite the right angle. and than one of the corresponding legs. And if you look at that, you'll see that that sure does look like side, side, angle. Side, side, angle. Well, it is side, side, angle, but the reason it is different from the one I showed you in class is we've got the right angle here. That right angle commits us in such a way that this is no longer ambiguous. So. While this might look like side, side angle, the right angle is a game changer that makes this particular situation unique. So now we have four postulates to prove triangles congruent. Side, 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 angle, side, and hypotenuse leg. So let's do a sample problem. And we'll prove a couple triangles congruent using hypotenuse leg. And Finally, we'll prove EF is congruent to FG, probably by CPCTC. So let's begin. We're given here in this circle that OF is an altitude. Well, hopefully we all know what altitudes do. Altitudes form right angles. So we can say angle OFE and angle OFG are right angles. And our reason will be altitudes form right angles. Okay, so now we've got our right angles. So we have essentially established now that we have right triangles. So in order to have right triangles, we got to establish the right angle. So that's going to be required if you plan to use HL. This is a circle with the center at O. So then we know that OE is congruent to OG. Segment OE is congruent to segment OG because radii of a circle Are congruent. Well, these are the hypotenuses of the right triangle. So here is my hypotenuse in that particular step. Here are my right angles, and now we also know our altitude here is common to both triangles. It's reflexive. So OF is congruent to OF by reflexive. 
our two triangles are congruent. Watch your correspondence here. Triangle OEF. That's the easy one. It is congruent to triangle OGF by hypotenuse leg. And that would be steps 2, 4, and 5. So our right angle, our hypotenuse, and our leg. And then finally, we do get EF is congruent to GF by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So there's an example of how we would prove two triangles congruent using HL. We'll do more practice with this when I see you in class.